Hi guys! Welcome to our tiny home on wheels. This is our Bluebird Schoolie school bus. I'm going to show you the house today from the inside and from the outside. I'm going to tell you a few stories about things that you see inside and hopefully I will answer some of your questions. So let's go inside first and look at the school bus. So let's look at the driver's seat area first. This is a five speed manual transmission. It's really easy to drive. You don't need a special driver's license. It runs great. Here in the front, you have a couple controls. You can turn on um, the LED, the LED, the USB charger, charge your phone or computer. You can turn on and off puck lights. You have wipers and a front heater for the person who's driving. I really like the cabinet on top of this area because if you put things behind the bars, they will not fall out while you're driving. So now let's look at the living room as I call it. This is the living room. You have a lot of space on the left side. You could even make a second bench there. You could leave it empty and spacious or do whatever you like in this area. On the right side, you have a bench that you can fold out into a bed. I'm going to show you. This is great if you have friends over or for your kids or if you just want to sleep in a different part of the bus. All the windows are tinted for privacy and also the bathroom windows have a special mosaic on so nobody can look inside from the outside. This bus has a lot of cabinet space and a lot of countertop space. It's really great if you have kitchen tools, if you love to cook, if you love to decorate. You have a gas stove here. And a very big and deep sink. If you wanted, you would even have space for a countertop dishwasher here. This room also has a lot of plug points there. Behind this curtain, at the door, and here, and another one where the stove is. Under this, you find the water heater. And here's also where you can turn on the water pump. So if you're not plugged into um, a water hose, you can turn on the water pump and then get the water from your 50 gallon fresh water tank. And you have hot water in the kitchen sink and in the shower. Here's your fridge. We chose a smaller fridge because we don't like to store vegetables for a long time, but you would have the space to also install a bigger fridge. Or if you didn't want that, you would have a lot of storage space under there. As well as in all of those cabinets. Let me show you one of these drawers. They're actually pretty deep and very spacious. This is my favorite cabinet because you can store something that's very long in here.
on the other side is your closet where you can hang clothes. And then here we have a barn door to the bathroom. This is where you go into the bedroom and on the right side is going to be the bathroom. In this room you also have two heating options. You have the AC and you have this gas heater that works with propane and it really makes the bus nice and toasty quick if you're in a colder area. And this is the split AC unit that also brings heat and coldness. Behind the barn door, there's also another curtain for showering and the bathroom. Here you can see is the shower. And on the right side is our composting toilet. This toilet has a vent fan to make sure that odor goes out of the house and it leads the pee directly to the gray water tank. <laughs> I can show you from the inside. How you open it and it has a urine diverter and here's a cabinet for your peat moss for example and then you can just take out this bag and put it into trash and then here we are in the bedroom this is a queen size bed and there is lots of storage actually under this bed. As you can see, there's already two drawers here. They go in pretty deep. And then there's this big box, which you can pull out. And this box is not only storage, it's also a chair. Because here we have a folding table that you can bring up. And then this is a little workspace here, which is really nice. You're sitting by the window, but you can also fold the table down when you're driving, for example, and store away the box. And then if you are holding up the bed, there's more storage, spacious storage boxes under the bed. And also from the outside, I'm going to show you when we go around the house from the outside. We also have a lot of plug points here, there. And there, all the windows are tinted. You can close all the curtains for privacy, but it's also really nice to have them open. Just get a nice breeze of air and also feel like you're really connected with nature. This is your view into the house from the bedroom. We also have two max fans in the house that bring additional air. I'll just open them here, turn them on. They have three different speeds. It's very nice. And there's also one where the shower is. Now we're going to go outside and I'll show you all the storage possibilities. So first of all, you have two storage compartments here outside the bus. One is there and one is over there. And here you can also see where the propane tanks are. This one on the right side is for the gas stove and this one is for the heater. And we have a third one on the other side of the bus. This is the storage compartment. This is the 
second one. Now I'm going to show you behind the bus. Here we are under the bed. This is where the fuse box is. You have lots of additional storage here. And this is also where the 12 volt battery is and the converter. And this is plugged into shore power here when you're plugged in, so it's charging the battery when needed. The bus is also already wired for solar. So if you look up there, you see those wires? They go all the way down here, and then they go all the way to the front of the bus to the battery compartment. So if you wanted solar, you could do that too. Here's where the bus is plugged in. It's either 30 amp or regular household power. And then here we see three things on the left. That is where you fill your fresh water tank, 50 gallons of fresh water. You just open it and then Put the water in there. Here is where the hose is attached with fresh water. This goes directly to the faucets and then that's the outlet for the gray water tank where you can attach a hose and then drain it to um, the sewer or wherever you're at. And then you also have another propane under here. That's a propane tank for the water heater. And this is there the air goes out and the odor from the bathroom the fan exit as you can see you cannot see inside the bathroom windows and then here we have the battery compartment and if you see these are the wires um, from the solar that go all the way to the front. And this is where you would open the hood. There's one on each side. This is our GMC big block engine. It's very well maintained and it runs great. <laughs> so this is the bus. I hope you like it. <laughs>